We've talked about American culture in decline for some time here on The Five. Remember that reality show, All My Baby's Mamas, about the guy who had 11 kids with 10 women? Or how about Honey Boo Boo, Give Me a Dollar, Make a Holla, Honey Boo Boo? But there's no way some has been freak show celebrity could ever get airtime on one of the nation's most vaunted Sunday morning news programs, right? Ladies and gentlemen, behold Dennis Rodman with George Stephanopoulos talking about his meeting with North Korean dictator Kim Jong Un. He don't want to do that. He don't want to do that. But you know what, dude? It's more like it. I'm not like a, 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 a diplomat. I don't want to do that. But it sounds like you're apologizing for him. No, I'm not apologizing for him. I think the fact that, you know, he's a good guy to me. Guess what? He's my friend. Guess what? I don't condone what he does, but as far as a person to person, he's my friend. But as far as what he does, but he did whatever. Well, if that's not enough, here's a little more. Because I sat with him for two days, and the one thing, he asked me to give uh, Obama something to say and do one thing. He want Obama to do one thing, call him. He loves basketball. And I said the same thing I said, Obama loves basketball. Let's start there. Let's start there. Oh, boy. Where do you even, where do you even start, Kim? Uh, fascinating interview. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I was glued to the TV. Well, think about it. I bet you the ratings are going to be quite good for it, right? People want to watch something like that, even though it really kind of has no place on the Sunday news talk show, given the topics that they normally um, discuss. The outfit, the whole thing, kind of made a circus, a mockery of it, a very situation with tremendous amount of people suffering and children starving in North Korea. Uh, you know, I, he has no place doing this. And, and Bob, you mentioned earlier, how did he even get approved to go over there? Who put this visa through, and how did this come about? I don't even know, Greg. At one point, he tweeted about meeting um, Psy from Gangnam Style. Oh I don't gosh. even think he realized he was in North Korea, not yeah. South Korea. Yeah, but you know, he is now part of the State Department, so maybe he can get some answers on Benghazi. But is this, you know, if you look at how he's dressed. He's almost like a human version of North Korea. He's irrelevant and he's uncool. And it raises the question, what happens when you were once cool, when you had the nose rings and the tattoos, and then you're over 50? You end up dressing like a, uh, a ship captain for a children's TV show. Uh, and, and you're kind of pathetic. And that's where you are. I mean, North Korea has a better future than Dennis Rodman. And he's, he's just espousing idiocy, but what do you expect from him? That was more entertaining than anything on this week. Uh, it absolutely True. was the most entertaining things on the True. Sunday talk shows. But um, should we want, do we want our Sunday talk shows that are supposed to be about American politics and what's going on in the world? Do we want Dennis Rodman sitting there with uh, Stephanopoulos? Sure. I mean, I, I think the Sunday shows, a free country. Do whatever you want to do. And now we're talking about it in the A block of the five, so I guess it Point works taken. for them. But I, I want to know, where is the outrage from the media? Where's Hollywood's outrage for this stunt that was done in conjunction with HBO Films and Vice Media? Um, where are the human rights activists? Where's Nicholas Kristof of the New York Times? Where's Susan Sarandon, Ashley Judd? Any of them? Anyone going to speak up and say anything about the outrage that uh, was just perpetrated on us? And, and Donald Trump should have condemned it. He praised him. And I think it, it, Donald Trump should have said, however much they gave you, Dennis Rodman, I will give you that money. You give that money back. I will pay you that. And then he would have been a hero to the human rights activists and the conservatives, and he would have gotten the PR that he was looking for for his show anyway. Mm. Bob, what about it? Uh, Kim Jong-un, a, a long history of, of uh, you know, prison camps, concentration camps, people starving. But um, Des Rodman says, hey, Obama should give him a call. What do you say? Well, first of all, don't forget he's my friend, uh, as you said. And then to praise the father and the grandfather, two of the great butchers of all time. Yeah, right. And, you know, the other right. thing about this is I, when I was in the State Department, I met a lot of wacky diplomats. This guy is, <laughs> that takes the cake. I mean, I... But At the least worst, they were well-intentioned. Yeah, they were well-intentioned. That's right. You, you would think this guy would have raised something. Somebody would have briefed him on the human rights conditions and said something. But no, he says, he's a good guy. He's my friend. Uh, that's his problem to deal with. Well, it's not just... A, look, we haven't had anybody sit down in North Korea, as far as I know, except for Franklin Graham. is the only one who got through there. Uh, Billy Graham's son. Outside of that, they won't talk to any diplomats from the United States. But they and they talk Rodman? to Dennis Rodman. And the, and the Harlem Globetrotters. Well, Bill I mean, Richardson and uh, Eric Schmidt, the CEO of Google, did go recently. Um, and I think all of that can oh, be right, useful. That's right, that's right. I, I think this, though, is counterproductive and basically just makes Mary America Page. look like idiots. Yeah, but you know what? Here's the interesting thing about Dennis Rodman. He said exactly what most professors say, which is that when you remember they asked him about the uh, stuff, Stephanopoulos said, what about the prison camps? And he said, 
we do the same thing here. He just mimicked everything you've heard on every campus, which uh, there is no good and evil. Everything is through the prism of, of moral relativism. The stuff that happens in America is no better or no worse, perhaps worse, than what happens in North Korea, or they use the same argument with the USSR. When you criticize the USSR, a celebrity would say, hey, you're just as bad. And so that, really, he's not that, he should run for office. Right, but he's just. Were they laughing at, were the Koreans laughing at, did Kim Jong-un invite Des, Dennis Rodman and say, hey, all, all the rest of our North Korean friends, look, these are Americans. This is what America is all about. Yeah, I mean, this is why it was a complete mockery. And aren't, isn't anyone a little bit concerned about how bizarrely weird and insane appearing Kim Jong-un is? The fact that he wanted Dennis Rodman to come over there and he worships him? Because they haven't even seen television probably since the 80s in North Korea. They all just know about did, this guy. It's did, very did, strange. Did Bill Richardson meet with this guy or with the old man? He just, re they went recently. They did go the recently? Did they meet with him? I thought, for some reason, I thought that Robin was the first person. And they had been before, but and, and the thing is, that does, this doesn't hurt us here in America, but you can bet that Kim Jong-un will take that clip mm -hmm. and he will run it all over the state-run media and look at, look at how, how Dennis Rodman okay. loves me. Yeah. Right, I know. And, and, and therefore, you're to love me, too. And he's and a he, hero in America. Look, this is what uh, America And he said everybody perhaps. there loved him, right? Everybody loves uh, Un, but the fact is, you can imagine they stuffed that hall with, right? Yeah. Every That's sick of fans do. it was. Yeah. Right, let, let's move.